So the rest of the nathostomes are going to fall into this group called osteichthyes, which is the bony fish, and osteo meaning bone, ichthys again here, fish. And by the rest of them, I mean all of them, including uh, you here. So when this term osteichthyes was coined, it actually did not include the tetrapods. It just include, included things that we would have considered fish. But since then, we have kind of reallocated these, these phylogeny, but the, the term stuck. So yes, you are a bony fish. So the osteichthys, is, you can see, branches into two sister clades. And the clades are the actinopterygii and the sarcopterygii. So actino means uh, ray, teri means like arm or uh, fin. So these are the ray finned fishes. So these are gonna be what you probably think of when you picture a fish. Uh, most of the fish living in the oceans, uh, the ones that are gonna have bony rays that support their fins. And then sarcopterygio, so sarco means lobe or muscle uh, fin. So these are the lobed fin fishes. And this is gonna have three main groups, the coelacanths, the lungfish, and then the tetrapods. So these are gonna be um, the rest of the groups that we're gonna look at past the osteichthys will be here in the tetrapods. Uh, so let's start with the actinopterygii. So these are probably the most familiar fish. There's about 27,000 species of these. They all have bony rays that are gonna support their fins, but the fins are fairly thin and there's no muscle inside of the actual fin like kind of provide walking or propulsive movement like that. Um, most of the muscle is here in the body and so they're gonna move by moving their tail fin uh, side to side. There are some more basal groups of these, so things like sturgeon, um, gar, this is an amia, uh, that's, a, that's a genus, um, amia. And then the biggest group of these are the teleost fish, which is gonna be all of these guys, that's going to include lionfish, your kind of typical um, tuna type fish, all the way to eels and our seahorse here. The other group of bony fishes is the Sarcopterygii, and this is where we are. You are a lobe-finned fish. And so inside of these fins, they actually have bones surrounded by muscles and that's going to create like a thicker muscle and you can see that these fins look a little different they don't kind of just look like those uh, rays they actually look a little bit fleshy and there's three lineages the actinistia which includes the coelacanths there's only two species of these and coelacanths were thought to be extinct 75 million years ago and in 1980 1938 and no you don't need to remember the year um, up a fisherman off of the coast of South Africa actually pulled one up and he had quite the time trying to figure out what this was um, until we realized that these things are still alive in the ocean um, and there are actually two species of these. The other group are the lungfish and so that's dipnoi is how you say that. There are six species of that so there's two species here, six species of lungfish and the, we believe these arose in the ocean, but they're found only in freshwater nowadays. Um, so they live in like stagnant ponds or swamps, and they come up to the surface and they gulp air. Um, these actually have lungs, which is why they're called lungfish, but they do also have gills. These guys have the ability to burrow in the mud during the dry season and do something called estivate, where they go into kind of a hibernation. Um, where their metabolism is really, really low until the rains and the wet season comes back. And then the last group of Sarcopterygii is the tetrapods, and that's going to include the amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals.